For me, Terrence Malick is a filmmaker that almost defies discussion. Analysis of his recent work seems almost antithetical to the work itself. Nonetheless, I'm deeply drawn to and fascinated by what he's trying to do. His exploratory, existentialist style seems not to state, but only to search, only to ask. He's not insisting, but inciting. And while his recent work into The Wonder, Knight of Cups, and Song to Song has enthralled me, bored me, inspired me, and even frustrated me at times, there exists a quality to his work that is undeniably unique. His recent trilogy of films is so thematically intertwined that shots from each are almost interchangeable. Working without a script, these films cast aside story to become meditations on existence. Characters change, locations change, but there's a consistent searching that remains constant. He's making films that consist almost entirely of scenes that would be cut out of a conventional story or film, or used merely as transitional moments. He abandons the writer centrism that pervades the vast majority of filmmaking, and in doing so brings the choices of the actors, cinematographer, location manager, and editor to the forefront. I think for Malik, the process of creation has almost superseded the final product. The lens is searching because he is searching and the characters search because the actors search. These films aren't planned, they are formed by reaction. The actors react to the world and each other and the cinematographer reacts to the actors and the world and the editor reacts to the rhythms constructed by the actors, the world and the cinematographer. The director becomes facilitator, putting things into motion and then looking for patterns of beauty in that motion. Maybe these visual obsessions emerge across his films, not because he has something to say about windows, architecture, nature, or sunlight, but because this is what emerges when beauty is looked for by actor, director, cinematographer, and editor with freedom and curiosity. <laughs> 